Welcome to another video. In case you don't understand what I'm talking about in the title, uh, toe correction plates. If you look at this plate, which is the toe plate, this is the adjustment for your alignment. So the bolt sit, sits in here, and by sliding this piece back and forth, you can adjust your toe. That's how they align your car at the alignment shop. That is not very much adjustment. This is a lot more, it looks like about double the adjustment. But basically it is exactly, take off the wheel. One, two, three bolts. And you got one bolt nut thing here. So you gotta hold the wrench and then impact this off. The problem with this is you need to go get an alignment. I might not even be able to get my alignment I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. So you should probably go get an alignment after doing this, but I'm gonna just guess as best as possible when I put these on. This is something that pretty much anybody should be able to do. Um, if you have an impact, this makes your life so much easier. To find these, you follow the trailing arm straight back. Bam, there's those three bolts. They are that easy to get to. So as soon as I do this, my alignment's fucked. So there's no going back. So now that we got it out, I initially thought that looking at this, this is all I could see, that there were aftermarket bushings in here, but it almost looks like this looks like the normal ones and then there's like something on the outside i have no idea we're about to find out so i just did a lot of fighting with it and if you look right here instead of sticking the impact in this way you can actually get it on the bolt right here from under the side skirt the only problem is you have to hold it down while you're doing it it's a little awkward. If you had a friend, it'd be easy. They could just like push down on this spring. I don't know how well this is gonna like, shove it in here somewhere. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Slide this bolt out. All right, I grabbed two of them just in case. Okay, that worked. What the fuck are these? Get a better zoom. ECS tuning, there's the part number. I'll probably look it up, but. only guess is that this is supposed to be like instead of popping out these bushings you just put these to stiffen it the driver side has the bolt like this l shape pointing towards the middle of the car so remember that's that's how it goes passenger side you can't flip them and they work the l points towards the middle of the car got it just in case you guys get mixed up because it's possible all right, well, after some very useful people helped me online, I'm definitely keeping them because I hear that they actually help with the active toe. It's not a 100% solution, but it is a band-aid solution, basically. Okay, here's the old one. So when I set it down right there, it's pretty close to flush. And here's the, the new one. When I put it down in there, there is a huge gap. There's no way I'm gonna fit these in here. Grab this wrench. So I just did max toe in. And I jacked up the car until it stopped. Now if we take a look, I can see my gap. 
get tighter in the back. And if I look from this angle, you can definitely see it's way more in right here than it is over here. Hey, look who it is. Man, that bright ass fucking light. All right, so pay attention. Right now it's max toe in. Now you can see more of it of the tire is tucking on this side than this side or at least that's the way to describe it if you line up the fender you can see the wheel is tucked in more on that side than that side this should be max toe out so now you can see it's almost lined up so i think i'm gonna max toe out when I take it to the alignment shop, I think that's better. Oh shit. Whoops. Alright, now we're on the other side. So let's see, now that I know all the stupid stuff, how simple we can make this and probably do the entire thing super quick. saying before to line it up bolt 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 in order to do this part so i need to know where the bump stop is shows you how my alignment could dictate to how much my car rubs. What's the approximate alignment? So I towed it out as much as possible and you can still see the inner side. The front side goes in first. It's not that bad, but it still is annoying. So. Well, the alignment is, my hands aren't on it at all. The alignment's pretty good. It's a little to the left. It already was. I don't know if it's worse or better. I can't really tell. But the car does not feel like it's pulling in any random directions. So yeah, so far, no random noises or anything. Car feels fine. So I'm gonna take it to go get the alignment tomorrow. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informational enough for you to feel confident in doing your toe plates yourself if you're gonna do them. I highly recommend doing it if you lowered your car. All right, so here's the rear alignment before. So you can see the toe was completely off there and there. Um, they couldn't get them close and the camber is extremely off. This one's almost negative five and this one's only two. So this is how they uh, did this, the alignment before. So this is the new alignment. So now you can actually see the toe is almost perfect. They're almost the same. The camber is minimized by a lot because now that I have the toe plates, the camber can actually be, you know, decreased. And I don't know, the front seems good. There's nothing too crazy. The caster is pretty good. The camber is just where it's a little far off there. But yeah, this, uh, this helped a lot because this is the best they could do with the stock uh, rear suspension setup and then just adding the toe plates immediately made all of this that was red before all green so if you guys lower your car and they even put on here uh it says sport suspension with lower lower ride height so if you guys do have a lowered car you should probably go get these